Hey everyone, it's Lene. Today is Friday, June 14th, 2019. I would like to start by saying that I am terribly sorry for being absent from YouTube for the last three months. I've been dealing with a lot. I mean a lot. I haven't had a lot to smile about lately, or even for this year. I had to find my way out of some bad situations. I did make it out to Reno, but after being there for 30 days, I realized that I was missing Colorado and that Colorado has more resources for me. So I decided to return to Colorado and I've been back now exactly two weeks as of today. It's been hard, it's been tough, but I'm happy with my decision. I know that I had to do what was right for me. You know, it's been exactly a year since I came out as trans on YouTube. That was a scary time, you know, making that video. I didn't really know what I was doing. And I was afraid that if I did decide to upload it, that I would receive a lot of negative commentary from it. But so far, I haven't received any negative comments. Mainly because no one really watches my videos. But right now, um, this is unscripted. That's another thing that I try to do whenever I make videos. I try to write out an outline in order to have some kind of structure, which is good. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but Sometimes it's better to just wing it and go for it. So mentally I'm doing okay. So mentally I'm doing okay. I do shed a few tears every year, every once in a while. If I see something sad on TV or, you know, thinking about something sad or if I'm, I feel like I'm under a lot of stress. I do it when no one else is around though. And usually I have, you know, I'm by myself. So it makes it a little bit easier. I had to deal with a major crisis when I was moving out to Reno. I would like to make a separate video about that. I really don't want to talk about it on my 10 month HRT update. I am still experiencing tenderness in the chest area, mainly in the mornings when I'm waking up, I notice it more. And I'm definitely noticing fat redistribution in my knees in that area around my leg. And I notice stretch marks too are there. They're not really noticeable unless you look really close. But I'm okay with it. So I started taking an Aguaje supplement. It's derived from the fruit Aguaje, which isn't popular here in the US, but I guess down in South America or in Latin America, it's pretty easy to find, pretty common. But I started taking that back in April and I ordered these online. These are, oh, there's a glare on it. I'm sorry if you can't see it. There you go. Agua J supplements. And that's the Agua J fruit there, also known as the curvy fruit. They say that it's a natural route to an hourglass figure, which I have yet to see when it comes to my physical appearance. But it's mainly because the fruit is rich in phytoestrogens, which are plant-based estrogens. Agua J is hailed as an Amazonian superfood. I'm sorry, I'm reading this looking at some notes I took three months ago. <laughs> it grows in and around swamps and other areas of tropical South America. And it grows on the morchi, I think, I think I'm pronouncing it right, palm tree. They say it's a miracle fruit for women, so I've been on it now since April, and I wouldn't say that I've noticed a lot of results from it just yet. It's been less than 90 days, but this is my second bottle of it. I don't know, it's something that I want to continue taking. So, yeah, that's what I'm, I've started. I've added to my regimen. I've been thinking though about starting um, taking estrogen shots instead of the pills because I don't like all of that going to my liver. I know it's not really healthy. It's not good for me. 
I don't know much about the injections, but if you do know anything about them, please reach out to me to let me know. I hear that the injections are actually, you'll see more results from those, and they are safer, I guess. So, I don't know, within the next month or two, I will reach out to my doctor to see if I can try out the injections. I'm trying to grow my hair out more. I've noticed some growth, but it's still rather slow. I'm using fenugreek on my hair. I soak the seeds in water, hot water, for about eight hours overnight. And I spray the fenugreek tea on my hair, which is supposed to help with hair growth. I purchased the seeds at Natural Grocers, and they go a long way. I bought them back in April, and I'm still on my... I bought two bags. I'm still on my first bag right now, so... Yeah, it's supposed to help grow your hair. <laughs> but it's hard wearing an afro in a dry climate such as this one. It requires a lot of attention. And I try not to do a lot of hair manipulation, so... Yeah, there's only so much that I can do right now, I guess, with that. So I'm actually staying where I was previously living when I was here in Colorado. But I'm only going to be staying here for a short time. The construction was uh, delayed, so she had an extra room available, so I came back and I took it. At first she was asking more than we had agreed on the first time for the room. And I told her, well, you know, I can't afford that. And we originally agreed on this amount. And she agreed, okay, you know, you can pay that. But it seemed like she was being greedy with me. And that bothers me. So by the end of this month, I'm going to try to be out of here. I've had this crazy idea to try out living in my car. The new car that I bought, it's not brand new, it's used. It's an SUV, it's a smaller SUV, but it looks like I could possibly make a bed because my seats recline all the way down. They fold down, so I could easily make a bed and, you know, try living out of my car for a while. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube where people are doing it. They really are. I, I don't see any trans people do it, but... And most of the people who do it because they want to are usually whites. They don't look like me. Those of us who are doing it, we're doing it out of necessity because we have to. But I want to try it because I want to. I could easily save money and just, you know, decompress from... Disconnect from all of the madness that has been taking place in my life this year. I won't have the financial stress of paying rent every month. I'm sick of it. I really am. It's getting me nowhere. Even when I save money, it seems like I have a crisis and I end up, you know, having to use that money. I don't understand that. I've always wanted to get somewhere in life. But at my age now, I really don't feel like I've gotten anywhere, really. You know, going to college did nothing for me. Doing what was expected of me, what was considered the right thing to do, I didn't benefit from. So now it's time to try something different, or to get a different result. At this point, ten and a half months into my transition, I have no regrets choosing to medically transition. I feel like it was, I still feel like it was the right decision for me. I came out to my aunt while I was out in Nevada. It was about a month ago. Yeah, it was a month ago. Mother's Day, I think. She texts me quite often. You know, she was anyway, almost every day. And she referred to me as boy one time. And I told, or, you know, or I replied, boy, question mark. And then she said, man, and I replied again, man, question mark. And I asked her if she could try using female pronouns with me. And she refused to do it. And she told me that 
you know, you'll always be a boy, man, etc. I can't do that. She says she accepts me, but she's praying for me. You know, all my life, I've been made to feel like there was something wrong with me. I have to keep reminding myself that there's nothing wrong with me. God made me the way that he wants me to be. I'm not a perfect person, but he didn't make any mistakes on me. I'm really trying to get my life in order, but it just seems like I'm getting nowhere in that, finding my place in this world. I want to live, I want to be happy. I want to have friends. I want to love. I don't think I'm asking for much. Just basic necessities. But on a more positive note, this is Pride Week here in Colorado. I'm very excited. I've never been to a Pride celebration, a Pride Fest before. This will be my first. I'm going by myself, but I'm looking forward to it. I hope that I'll have a good time and possibly meet some really nice people there. I don't know. I'm going to make an effort to put out more content. I want to document my transition. And I have been. It's, I've, been I've had a three-month sabbatical from it, but I'm back. And I want to post or upload videos more and be more visible. You know, there's a new podcast out. It's been out for a couple months now. I listen to it every Monday. It's by two trans women. They're YouTubers, Gage and Jay. You can find it on Spotify. That's usually how I listen, but it's called Girlish. Maybe you're familiar with it. And these girls, you know, they're young. They're millennials. They're in their 20s. And I really like what they're doing. Last week's topic was trans women of color, and I wasn't expecting them to actually talk about black trans women, because our experience is a lot worse in a lot of cases than, you know, Hispanic, Latino, white, transgender, trans men, trans women. We're more marginalized. But they actually talked about it, and I was really impressed. I have a lot of respect for that. I really do, because there are a lot of media outlets that won't. Or they might think that everyone's trans transition is the same as theirs. They might live a more privileged life or whatever. We're all different. We really are. But the murders that have taken place this year alone, most of them, in fact, all of them that I've heard of were black trans women. And it's really sad and it scares me a lot. You know, if I am gonna live out of my car, I have to protect myself. I want to be safe, but I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe to my channel. And I could really use some positive feedback, so feel free to comment. I would really love that. To all a good day, and God bless.